Welcome to another episode of Cadence Fishing TV. This is our fly fishery focus video here at the beautiful Letchlade Fisheries on the Gloucestershire, Oxfordshire border. And I've got Tim Small with me. Tim, you've owned and managed this fishery for some time, haven't you? I've been here 50 years now. <laughs> wow. All my life, in yeah. fact. So yeah. this is your 50th year. Yeah. Um, Letchlade has built a, an awesome reputation for big quality, trout rainbow trout and brown trout that's right and um we come today there's uh, i'm gonna fish we've got jamie who's a beginner so we're really looking forward to the day um it's a beautiful day but very cold we picked a per <laughs> perfect for fishing though. yeah they love it yeah love i think it. it was about minus four when i left this morning it still is <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a bit about the history of the fishery tim well as i say i've been here 50 years and um predominantly in, originally, we were mainly producing trout for the table here, for our local markets, supermarkets and yeah. stuff, which all became a bit competitive yeah. and suddenly we realised that actually the the best business was, was right here and was the fishing and we've concentrated on that for the last 20 years now. We run this as a specimen yeah. trout fishery yeah. and um, we draw people in from all over the country and all over Europe to come come Absolutely, fishing here yeah. for these big it's, fish. It's a wonderful location and it's a it's a good sized lake. Uh, this is the main Letchlade Lake. This isn't is it? the Letchlade Lake. I noticed yeah. uh, you've got a really nice small lake there which you use for tuition. We've done we dug a tuition pool a few years ago which particularly after Covid was really popular. A lot of people coming through yeah. that. I heard that was a great success and then of course you've got the Bushy Lees uh, fishery the other side of the road. That's right which is much more of a traditional fishery with smaller fish it's much yeah. much more of a natural water yeah. there. Yeah well um, I've, I've loved fishing here over I suppose it is over about 20 years yeah. uh, fishing both lakes uh, so it's a real treat to be back today. Um, you're blessed with some beautifully clean water aren't you from the from the stream here. From That's the river. right we're on the River Leach which joins the Thames yeah. about two miles downstream of here but it's yeah. all limestone water lovely clear And you've utilised that through your stew ponds and, and into that the lake. That goes through the through yeah. the farm yes. And so you're still breeding the trout here now? We are we've cut our production cycle down quite a lot now because we're affected by climate change and um, we're actually buying in fish at a kilo now, but we can get them up to double figures in, in one year. So we're down from three years to one year now. Yeah. And um, it's both rainbow trout and brown trout? Predominantly rainbows, yeah. um, about 10, 15% brown trout, but yeah. we do some really big brown trout. It's just awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the stamp of the size of the fish, the quality of the fish. What's the actual record fish for the lake? I think we broke all our records last year because we'd had a run over from lockdown. Yeah. And um, their blues, rainbows and browns are all around the 26, 27 pound mark for... It's unbelievable, yeah. isn't it? Oh, absolutely unbelievable. So just uh, a few tips for fishing here. Um, what sort of tackle would you recommend using in terms of length of rod, line weight? Most people, you're probably seven weight rod, yeah. ten, ten foot rod. Yeah. I usually recommend that people use a floating line with a with a long leader. When it's cold like this, yeah. probably intermediate. Yeah. Um, really sinking lines aren't aren't the lakes worth really it. aren't that deep to warrant that are no they? they're about 15 16 foot deep yeah. it's a good stalking water especially yeah. at the minute with the water so clear yeah. and um yep and flies anything from naturals i mean they'll even take buzzers at this time of the year yeah. but you'll find mainly it's sort of medium-sized lures medium-sized lures yeah well um you have got a fantastic tackle shop on site um, so it's always good to get some advice there, buy some flies that are perhaps working at the time. Yeah, we always know what's happening at the time yeah. and got those. And those you've got some stock. great facilities as well, haven't you? Yep. Toilets, you've got the, the sort of area where you can go and have your lunch We've inside. Got club. Clubhouse where you can warm up. Yep. So yeah, I think the facilities and the setups, absolutely fantastic. So good. Tim, I'm desperate to get fishing. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's uh, all right. Yeah. All the details uh, are on your website. That's correct. And uh, I think we'll get fishing. Yep, yeah, good. Good, good. Thanks very much. Cheers, Have a Tim. great day. Thank you.
just had a, a quick cast after that introduction and I've been rewarded by this absolutely spectacular fish. Unfortunately, Chappie the cameraman had gone back to his car, so we missed it, but I just want to show that. That's the kind of quality fish that we're talking about, isn't it, Tim? Yep, one of my blues. And uh, we haven't weighed that. it yet. Perfect. But, yeah, beautiful tail. Um, I reckon about 14 pounds. Yeah, so I'm absolutely made up with that already. I just went up just the other side of the bridge and fished off one of the pontoons in the main pool and uh, I caught it on an intermediate line with a small black and green lure. Perfect. Absolutely amazing. What a start to the day. Well done. Cheers Tim. Get some more. <laughs> It was a real good fight and uh, I caught it from this spot on the main lake uh, opposite the island. Um, I found this, kind, it's kind of a point really, um, very productive in the past so I just had a couple of quick casts. I think um, like always with pretty much all types of fishing, um, fish like features like islands and um, certainly when there's a few people fishing here you do find the fish tend to hug this island all around. Um, but having said that, like Tim said, because the water's so clear, it's a fantastic venue for stalking as well, uh, spotting fish and catching them close in. So it's not all about casting long range. So the rod I'm using at the moment and the rod I caught the fish on is our uh, Stevie Munn. It's a nine foot nine, eight weight. And uh, I quite like using this rod when I'm fishing here. Obviously the, the size of the fish, um, I like to be using at least a seven weight uh, just to be able to play, play them efficiently and quickly. And um, also when the wind gets up, obviously today it's completely flat calm at the moment. So I've matched this uh, eight weight up with a eight weight clear intermediate, which is a prototype line that we're working on. Um, obviously it's been a very, very cold morning and I think the fish are gonna be near the bottom and quite lethargic. So I want to get my fly down in amongst them. And uh, I do like this clear intermediate. And the retrieve I was doing was just a slow figure of eight. And I actually had the take quite close to the far bank. So I'd only just started retrieving. I'd let the fly sink down for perhaps 10 seconds. And uh, I'll show you the fly when I bring it in. But when I was fishing before, even though it was only about I don't know, half an hour ago, the guides were actually, the line was freezing in the guides. And it just feels now, the temperature's just warming up. So that was the fly, it's a, a small sort of mini lure, um, black with a fluorescent green head. And uh, this is the kind of fly I really like to fish on, small still waters like this. Um, I was here just before Christmas and I caught three beautiful fish. Two on one of these and one on a white and green version. Obviously it's good to just vary the changes with the fly colour and size, but these mini lures seem to work really well for me here. So the, the leader itself, I'm using a fairly long leader, around about 15 foot, uh, and I'm using fluorocarbon and stepping it down. So I've got a stiffer section at the top and then two sections below that. I'm using our edge fluorocarbon so I'm going from an 030 diameter millimetre, which is around about just under 10 pounds, down to the 025, which is about seven and a half pounds. Obviously we've talked about the, the size of the fish and we need to be fishing with quite a robust leader and uh, w one that's gonna sink well as well. So that's the leader itself. I've actually seen a few fish moving in the last 10 minutes, just down uh, sort of halfway along that island. So I'm desperate to try that.
So you'll notice there's some quite nice uh, platforms or pontoons situated around the lake, which really helps. Um, don't like to cast straight out to begin with, just fish close in because sometimes the fish can be really close in. I don't want to spook them, so I just try fishing a bit closer in. But I've seen, I've just seen a fish over there by the island, and I've seen a few, so it does look like that's where they might be hanging. There you go. Well, that was a bit different. I was finding with my normal conventional rod, I couldn't get over to the island due to the trees behind me, so Last time I was here, I thought I'd bring one of our micro spay rods. Um, this is the 11 foot 7 8 version, just to enable me to cast and get over towards that island, and it's exactly what's worked for me. I mentioned I'd seen some, seen some fish over there, and uh, I just was, I was just able to get another sort of. 10, 12 foot towards the island. So I was only just off the side of the island and uh, this fish had a little a little bump off it. I kept retrieving and um, thankfully he took it. Looks like a good fish. I'm just gonna take my time. Not, not as big as that first fish I had, but still a beautiful fish. I remember Ian Gordon telling me about a trip to Iceland where he fished a lake with some huge brown trout and everybody else was fishing with conventional single-handed rods and Ian took a, a, a switch rod like this micro spay and um, caught an absolute monster just because he was able to fish a bit further out in the wind There we go, fantastic. What a beauty. Well, that warmed me up. What an absolutely stunning trout. Perhaps uh, getting on for 10 pound, 
in beautiful condition lovely big tail real chunk of a fish I was using the same fly that little black and green lure and I was using the microspay line that matches the rod perfectly with a small five foot intermediate tip and a leader around about 15 foot so the conversation I had with Ian I think has sort of changed my way of thinking sometimes when you're trout fishing especially when you come to a place where you have got a limited back cast a good old spay cast can get you out of trouble and uh, it was Ian that developed our range of micro spay rods absolutely fantastic rods that are obviously developed mainly for spay casting but you can overhead cast with them as well um, Ian's designed the rod with a bit longer handle to enable the correct spay cast to be employed efficiently and um, wow I'm really pleased about that fantastic so my thinking on the cast obviously I've mentioned I'm restricted with the back cast on my normal uh, single-handed rod so with the micro spay I'm just simply just doing a single spay cast to get it out into that zone where we've seen the fish you could see that that was actually quite effortless and quiet and I'm just going to let the fly sink down I mentioned I've got a little uh, five foot intermediate poly leader tip on and I actually caught that doing a little roly poly retrieve back so I'll just try that again it's a deadly type of retrieve um, something about it but that the fish like and I'm basically just bringing that back sort of halfway I've already covered the water between the bank and halfway with my other rod and uh, just being careful to see if anything's following it and then repeating the process I'm actually putting my fly line away from where I'm fishing try and minimize the disturbance get it out towards the island. Well, Jamie, how about that, mate? Oh, I'm absolutely made up, mate. <laughs> yeah, this is your first time trout fishing, isn't it? Fly it is, fishing for it trout. is. It is my very first time, yes. And uh, your first time to Let's Laid, obviously. So yeah. whilst we were doing some video and you went off and uh, yeah. after a bit of tuition, just a little bit of casting tuition, uh, you went off to a, a quiet corner over there. That's it. And you spotted some fish, didn't you? I spotted them, yeah. Um, bit of stalking, spotted them over in the corner, in the shade. Um, a lot better with the uh, Polaroid glasses on, you know, yeah. you can see straight to the, through the glare and uh, this one headed straight for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, I mean, you're an extremely uh, experienced and skillful course fisherman. Oh, thank you very and much. And you showed us how <laughs> <laughs> with your first time fly fishing. Yeah. So just quickly on the gear, yeah. I'll set you up with a 10 foot 7 weight. Yeah. Uh, you had a fairly long leader. I shortened your lead a bit, just as a beginner, yep. just to help with your casting. Mm -hmm. And you caught it on a on a small orange, gold head type mini lure. That's it. So similar similar to what I've caught on. Obviously, I was on black and green, but yep. you fancied the orange. The didn't orange, you? yeah. And um, so what happened? You'd spotted the fish, and did you just cast in front of the fish? Uh, it was it was the longest I could manage with a cast, yep. and um, yeah, just let that sink very slowly before I started. Uh, drawing in and then good take look, looking at the leader and yeah good take watch the watch the leader disappear then that's it yeah well we definitely heard when you hooked it yeah. <laughs> yeah. awesome well done mate Thank let's you, have a James. look at the fish yeah show you, yeah show the camera look. another absolute spanker in it i reckon beauty. good fight. getting on for 10 pound that one we'll have to weigh them Excellent. all obviously but the condition they're just beautiful aren't they absolutely stunning 
good scrap. Well done, very mate. Good. Thank you very much. You'd better go and get another one now. Thanks very much, James. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so I'll show you how I construct my leaders when I'm trout fishing on still waters like here at the beautiful Letchlade fishery. I've got a, a length here, sort of arm span of heavy fluorocarbon, 035 diameter, so 0.35 millimeter, breaking strain around about 15 pound. I'm just gonna tie a figure of eight loop in the top of that. And all our fly lines come pre-looped on the front and back. So it's a really easy job just to put the loop over the fly line and then pull the line back through the loop. Nice, neat, strong loops. So that's the first section. And I'm fishing a tapered leader by stepping down the diameter of the line. So the next diameter I'm using is 030. So it's got a breaking strain around about nine pound. And uh, I'm gonna pull off one and a half arm spans of that. And I'm gonna join that to that butt of thicker fluorocarbon up to my fly line by doing the same figure of eight knot for joining two pieces of line together. And if you wanna have a look how to tie this knot in a bit more detail, have a look on our Edge Tackle website, our YouTube channel, and that will show you. I think it's a great knot. It's very, very strong, very, very neat. And I can always turn one of the tag ends into a, a dropper if I want. So I'm just gonna nip that with some scissors. So fluorocarbon, um, obviously, has made a big impact, impact on fly fishing. Uh, I think I've been using it for sort of more than 20 years now. Fluorocarbon's got the advantage of being stiffer than normal mono, mon monofilament, and also completely clear. So when you're fishing in clear water, um, there's an obvious advantage of using fluorocarbon. It's also heavier as well. So it cuts through the water much quicker than uh, monofilament, standard monofilament. So for fishing today on this floating line, I'm gonna finish my leader with a section of this 025. And that's the edge uh, fluorocarbon. It's pure fluorocarbon, very, very high quality. And that's got a breaking strain of around about seven and a half pound. And I'm just gonna pull half a span, arm span for that. So what I'm actually doing is I'm tapering down the diameter and also the length of each section. And that's all helping the fly to turn over during the cast. Um, obviously that's really important, especially when you're fishing with smaller flies, to get the, the fly to turn over and land straight past the fly line. So I'm gonna do the same figure of eight knot. There we go. Wetting it just to reduce the friction. Cut the tag ends. Okay, so there we go. That's the fly line and the fluorocarbon leader attached. So in that case, I've got around about, a, it's gotta be getting on for 15 foot. And I do like to use a longer leader wherever possible, especially when it's cold like today, I can get my fly in and let it settle and let it sink and hopefully get down to the fish and for me, to tie my fly onto that, I just do the old fashioned, simple half blood knot. So I'm gonna tie on one of these mini lures here, just with a simple half blood knot. I don't like to do too many turns with fluorocarbon, just about five turns. I don't do a tucked half blood knot either. Um, you can strangle the knot on fluorocarbon because it's so tough and hard. You don't wanna to do too many turns. And uh, that's a very, very strong and neat knot as well. So there we go. That's my leader set up. Let's have a look at the flies. I've been a keen fly fisherman for a lot of years. And when I was younger, I used to tie my own flies. 
Um, but nowadays I've got, I've got some good friends that tend to fly uh, tie flies for me. So here's a selection of these mini lures and I love these types of flies. When I'm fishing on still waters like this, uh, particularly in the winter, um, and I like to carry uh, different patterns, different colours. Um, so the two fish I've caught today have been on that black and green, so it's like a, a green pea head. You can see it's on a around about a size 12 hook, um, obviously black tail, black body with some silver tinsel threads and a, and a green head. Um, that's got to be one of my favourite flies, very, very reliable. Um, also, second favourite probably is a like a cat's whisker type pattern. So black and uh, white and green. Um, I'll be giving that a go today. Uh, last time when I was here, I caught on uh, an orange and an olive fly. So, you know, it's nice to ring the changes, change the colours. Um, also the size of the fly, but this is the size of the fly that have been successful for us today. So I thought I'd quickly explain the setup on the micro spay rod. Uh, it's a 7.8 Ian Gordon micro spay and I've matched that up with our micro spay line. So that's the 7.8 uh, version. It's got a head weight of 26 grams or 401 grains over a head length of 34 feet. And I mentioned when I was fishing that I've added this uh, five foot poly leader intermediate tip and what that's done is it's just help help with my casting and in terms of turning the fly over and also for just getting the fly down a little bit deeper and then after that I've just gone on to that with a similar leader to what I was using on the single-handed rod so I've got around about 15 foot of uh, pure fluorocarbon down to the fly but it just enabled me to fish in that one spot where I've got trees behind me couldn't do a conventional overhead cast and by doing a single spay I was able to get the fly over to the island and managed to catch a fish so that was really good fun and something that I'll definitely be employing again in the future. Well, I'm back in the tackle shop here at Let's Load Fishery with Charlotte. And this, it's got a great shop here, haven't you, Charlotte? You're sort of selling all the flies, leader materials, a bit of clothing. Everything I can think of <laughs> to, to sell you, yeah. <laughs> so it's really great. And you've just made a, a selection of flies that you sort of recommend for people when they come here. So yeah, what have we got? That, that's there through the year. Whatever's been catching recently on Bushy Lees Lake at the bottom and let's load at the top. It's just handy for chaps who've already fished here a lot to know what's what's happening up to date. And if anyone's not done much fishing before, you can point it out, say, you know, that's yeah. a damsel, always yeah. popular one on Bushy Lees. Yeah. Mm. Nice and a kind of Montana type lure there, which is which is always really successful, isn't it? Was it humongous you caught on today? It wasn't that big. It was much, much smaller lures today I caught on, but uh, I'm sure that, you know, they're really nice flies. So that's brilliant. You've got the lodge, haven't you, as well? Yeah, what? if you, if you, there's tea and coffee available, help yourselves all day and warm up, especially on a day like today. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got a microwave down there as well. We do a few snacks, crisps and Coke, things you can, you know, buy offers, but there's never a big selection. Always best to bring your own lunch. But when you're hungry, that's what you want. That that's hits the it. spot. Yeah, and if anyone wants to go off for lunch and come back, yeah. just hang on to the tickets and that's absolutely fine with us. Well, thank you so much. I've had a wonderful day and uh, we're going to put your details on the website. Brilliant. And uh, basically, people, it's a good idea to phone in advance, isn't it, and book in? Definitely, especially for Let's Lade when we get busy at this time of year. Um, and you can always keep an eye on our Facebook page. We try and keep everything updated on there. The latest big fish coming out. Like yesterday's monster. <laughs> yeah, how big was that one yesterday? £21.8. Unbelievable. Come a fair way. I think it was his first time fishing here. That's, That's absolutely nice great. Well, my friend out. Jamie's, this is his first time fly fishing today, and he's caught a fish, so he's absolutely made up. So. Brilliant. Oh, Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Cheers, Charlotte. Have a good trip home. Thank you. Mm -hmm.